Hi, I'm Michelle Moklin, your personal stylist. I want to thank you all for sending in your style questions. What's really cool is if you're having this type of question or wondering what to do, that others out there who are watching are thinking the same thing. So we're really helping a lot of, a lot of people elevate their style by sending in these questions and having me answer them. So speaking of, this question was sent to me by Leslie. She said, I just recently bought a pair of white overalls. Besides wearing them really casual with a tee, can you show me a few more ways to wear these for summer? I'm really afraid with the white that I'm gonna start looking like a house painter. <laughs> and I love this question. Thank you so much, Leslie, for sending this in. So when we think of overalls, we always think of them as more utilitarian, a little bit on the um, oversized side and in denim. But this season, there's a lot of overalls out there. Mine's pretty traditional, except it's a little bit more fitted. And what I like about that is, it just kind of elevates the look and doesn't make it feel as, as loose or slouchy. But if you like a traditional overall, the looks that I'm going to share with you today, you can really apply that to that type of overall as well. So this first look, I'm falling down. This first look, I paired this overall with an off-the-shoulder blouse. And what I love about this, if your shoulder strap doesn't fall down, is that you can still wear a bra underneath it and have that hidden underneath the straps of the bib. But this kind of gives a nice sexy look to what's traditionally more masculine and overall and kind of adds a little feminine touch to it. So I love it. And I paired it with an Elizabeth Wilmore leather and pearl necklace and I've thrown on some suede um, espadrilles. So kind of a fun weekend, could be a date night look um, because of the sexiness of the off shoulder. It's something just really fun to do that's different with an overall. All right, let's move on to a few more looks. This next one, I'm taking a bodysuit. Bodysuits have been trending for a while now and continue. You either love them or not. What I love about it is that it stays nice and put underneath your pants and so it feels like a very fitted, it ends up being a very fitted top. So I've paired this with another necklace and I've thrown on um, my own personal pair of um, gladiator shoes that I've had for years that I absolutely love and a belt. Just because you do not have belt loops on your overall does not mean that you cannot put a belt on. That kind of gives a nice finishing touch to it. So that's outfit number two. Outfit number three, I've taken this Madewell cotton crinkle gauzy shirt and I've put this on underneath the overall and through this fun little scarf around my neck. I've also paired it with orange accessories in the form of a belt as well as shoes that um, pick up the orange and the red in the blouse. This would be awesome for a barbecue or hanging out on the weekends, going to lunch, you name it. It's a fun, fun, colorful look. Okay, outfit number three. This is for you very feminine girls out there. This is more of a boho look. So I've taken these overalls and paired it with a beautiful camisole that has a little bit of a lace trim and then topped it off with another lace shrug. What I love about this is we're taking a very masculine look and we're pairing it with two pieces that are super, super feminine and pretty and I've added a little necklace to go with it. And again, the same um, orange shoes to just have pops of color with the neutrals. I love this so much. And then the last outfit, really elevating this overall look by pairing it with a Vince silk blouse and some silver jewelry, including my silver sequiny glittery pumps. So this is something that's really elevating your overalls to an evening look that you can go out to dinner with and just have a blast. I love all the layering of the necklaces and the bling and do not worry, I want you to, you know, not be concerned about the whites not matching. It's actually more interesting. It gives a little bit more contrast in your outfit and um, just gives a little bit more dimension. So if I've got the off-white and the white and it looks beautiful together. So that's the five outfits 
that I'm showing with the overalls. Thank you again, Leslie, for broaching that question and emailing it to me. All right, that's it for today. I so look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next time. Until then, stay true to your authentic style no matter how it changes and evolves. And I promise you, you will always look and feel your best. Bye for now.